Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Samira in the mid lane. We're running Conquer, Triumph, Bloodline, Cut the Grass, Bone Plating, and Overgrowth. We're gonna do Bruiser Samira. I'm gonna go a Gore Drinker, gives me health, AD, healing, and more health with other items. And then I'll probably get like a Moss, if Akali's scary, Death Stance, Cleaver. Might do Titanic. I remember I tried Titanic before. And it doesn't proc on her Q or her ult, so it's kind of underwhelming. So a Ravenous Hydra would be better, but it doesn't give tanky stats. But yeah, the, the goal is to be tanky and not do like a ton of damage so I can ult multiple times in a fight and it'll be really funny. Because normally Samira goes full damage. Once she ults, it's kind of like a Katarina ult. Everybody dies, but this will still do good damage, just not insta-kill enemies. They don't really have a tank, but they do have a pretty beefy team, so it will take a few ults to take them down, I think. So, I'll do the Gore Drinker first. Second item, if Akali is too strong for me to fight, I will go Maw. That'll give AD and a shield to beat her. Um, other than that, I could do Cleaver second. Reduce their armor. Give me move speed. Or I could even do that stance second, keep me alive. A hole breaker wouldn't be terrible either. I just have to go split in the side lane. Let's see, Nocturne Jungle. Got the cannon. Missed the caster. Nice. They've had new new support. Seems pretty cheesy. He's probably gonna roll mid. I think he's actually coming mid now. Oh, he's really low. If he comes mid, I kill him. I just gotta watch out for Nocturne because I don't have a way to get out of his fear without flashing. So I'm gonna let the lane go back to me. I don't want a Kali to sit under turret. I'm dead to her, but I got the kill, so I'll take it. That's right. Payback. I didn't think he was actually going to come mid there. I probably shouldn't have flashed. But he almost didn't die. I get a pickaxe. And Belvest's there to hold the wave, so. Not the end of the world. The Kali gets a kill, I get a kill. Ooh. She might take it. Wow. I'm surprised she didn't take her either, because that does a lot of damage. Belveth still had hurry, I think. But Holly does a lot of damage. We can zone her off this cannon. She's not too happy about that one. I never go out of style. I think Nocturne's still around, so I don't want to go too deep. We'll hold the wave here. If she bases, she actually is going to lose quite a bit. Because it, it should be pushing towards me. It actually looks like it might be even. It's actually pushing towards her. My minion's focused uh, better than theirs. But I'll still be a level on her when she gets to lane. We'll just crash this big wave in. Then I'll look and see what items I want. What are some nice bruiser items? Don't really need haste from a, a Shoujin, but it does give the stats I want. Oh, we could do Sterix. Although, then I can't go Maw, but... Oh yeah, Nunu's gonna be here again. I can't let my guard down with a Nunu. Just waiting for me. But yeah, I'd rather much do a Sterix over a Maw, because then the shield works for everybody and not just Akali and Nunu. Nunu beat her. I think Ezreal is there. Oh, I missed the key. No, I deserve that. I tried to use W to stop her from missing the 
fucking cannon. Oh, I have all. Okay. I got feared, unfortunately. Goodbye. And since I froze, she's not six. And I'm ulting again. And I got her flash. Okay. There's two ults already. That was quick. I have ignite up soon, too. I can maybe kill her. Oh, she's going to want to ult me here. I might still beat her just because I have Ignite, but I think her Ignite's up too. If I can hit her with a Q before she goes in. Ooh. I think I just press W when she dashes in because the Kali's try to use their E. My win wall doesn't block this, unfortunately. This guy's living mid. Oh, hey. I have one of those things, too. I have a support. He's going to roll another snowball mid. But I think I survive with this health. The Kali's very passive. Oh, my gosh. So close to hitting her. Last person I loved thought I was too reckless. An ally has been slain. Let's see, I'm seven. Has been slain. I want to go for it, but I feel like she's just going to win. An she's going to go invisible and then just ult me. Oh, that doesn't block it. Oh, I got her. I could have sworn my W would block her E. Maybe it, uh, maybe it went down as soon as it hit or something. Okay, Hextech. Why didn't that make any noise? That was weird. Like, muffled. Alright, Nunu can be here any second. As a second jungler. Ah, there he is. Hello. Oh, I have, uh, I have Gore Drinker already. I could also do Stride Breaker. And slow them in my ult, which would be cool, but I, I don't think it's going to work that well. It might even cancel my ult, who knows. Okay, let's get boots. And then... I kind of want to do um, Gore Drinker Cleaver Sterics. That way it gives me a ton of AD, a ton of health, and yeah, just AD and health. Plus I'll have that giant shield to survive anything. I should be able to survive a Kali ult. And then if I go Death Stance after that, I'll have uh, a lot of resistance or I'll just die a bit slower. If the Titanic Hydra worked on my abilities and stuff, it would be so cool. But it only works on auto attacks. So it, it would end up giving us a lot of AD and health, but I'll save it for last if anything. It's not good to get early, because it does it scales off your health. And if I don't have any health right away, it's not going to do any damage. Oh, there, Ezreal is 32 CS. He's really far behind. Some choose steel, others bullets. Why not both? He got Herald. I see a Nunu down here, but where is the Ez? Okay, that is a Nocturnal up top. I could use the um, Gore Drinker to clear the wave too, like this. Ooh. Oh my god, wait. He just killed both of them. I think Ezreal left the game, unfortunately. Oh. Oh. It worked. I want to clear the wave that way. It's satisfying. Well. Wow. Okay, Gore Drinker first actually kind of slaps. Oh, I got the plating, but am I dead? I am dead. I have no way to get out of his fear. 
I have to dash into them. Alright, what's better? A Sterix or a... What's my base AD? 79. Does that go up? Enemy killing spree. Your team has destroyed a turret. I think I'd rather have the clear, to be honest. I care most about my and then maybe I'll get the Sterix if it looks juicy. Okay, so I do a lot of damage with Gore Drinker. I did not think I would be able to 1v2 them there. I didn't even use summoner spells either. Ezreal is in fact there. Oh, that's so satisfying when you EQ a wave of Samira. I can maybe EQ and then Gore Drinker get that last minion. Oh, this guy's level 5. No wonder I killed him so fast. I'm gonna get 3, man. Nunu... Nunu, Nocturne, and Akali. Oh, he's topside. That was a nice wave clear. How much have I healed from this? 370. Ow. Can we save him? I can maybe clean this up. What was that? This feels like Samira ADC, just a bit beefier. My damage still feels really good versus their team, though. I'm not super far ahead, that's why. Nocturne... Actually, Nocturne doesn't even have kills. I'm gonna die? Oh. I don't know if he can run away from Belga. He cannot. Oh, Ezreal's now on a rampage. I'm gonna have to dive him. Ooh, I could actually have gotten mid turret in next wave, because plating falls down. Oh yeah, he's dead. I might have to flash for him if he runs. Oh, hey. I'll just stack up my... I got a gore drinker kill. An enemy is unstoppable. Red Diver. I'm two levels on her. They're just extremely far behind this game, so. Oh. That was unlucky. I wanted to hit them, but there's no way I could beat them in a fight. If uh, that turret's still hitting me, I thought I could kill the turret before I died. I think what I could have done is gore drinker healed like 200 health, survive one more turret shot, but definitely wasn't surviving that. But we could do armor boots. Armor boots, and what's my base AD now? Yeah, it is going up. I could do sterics. What does it give? 50%? So if I have 90 base AD, it'll give 45 AD. That's fine. I think the Riven's the only one that can really stop my ult with ease, with her Qs and her W stun. Akali has zero CC. Nocturne Fear takes a while to hit, so I can get the majority of my ult off before it does. Oh yeah, that's a nice combo with the gore. My ult just shreds whoever is in it. Mirror you. 
I could flash for her. I think that's me. Nope. It's Bali. Oh, did I block it or did it run out? My cannon. I can't tell if I blocked it or not. Oh, she insta canceled it. I'm still surviving. Oh. I would have flashed, but I was ignited and I was really low. Plus, Akali had E on me, so no matter where I go, it hits. I should have held my ult longer because exactly what I said happened. Riven insta cancels it by just going in. So I have to wait for her stun. Um. Yes, this. It's just 15. Yeah, I already have the health orb. Cleaver will be nice. It already added 400 damage there. They are going to build armor. Bad Rocket Bell doesn't clear the wave like the Refugee. old one used to. That label is very drawn. I'll just keep pushing. I mean, if they... I got out of fear, at least. I don't think I'm dying. Oh. oh, I dashed through Riven. Oh my god. Let's go. Oh, am I dead? I'm a liver. Wait, it was still shooting me. I thought I was out of turret aggro. I would have probably died to us. That was crazy. Okay, if I don't get my ult stopped. Hey. If my ult doesn't stop, I kind of just... I'm very scary. Alright. Let me see how much this just gives. 30 this will give 66. So yeah, I can build this next after after Sterix. It will give the uh, good stats now. A dead stance might be better for keeping me alive. And then it'll be double triumph, so when I kill somebody I heal a lot. Luca, guys, gals, and other pals. <laughs> We get 1,200 from Cleaver. It does, does do indeed work. Youth and skill every time. I never go out of style. I'm just gonna keep perma fighting him because that's what you kind of do on Samira anyway. Even if I die, I know I'm going to do like a massive amount of damage or take somebody with me. I don't want to tank the turret. I think I took majority physical damage. Okay. Can't see. Spinny spin. Oh, they got away from me. Worth. <laughs> we may as well dive them. I'm gonna Take double proxy. Oh, my passive didn't go off. Uh, I think I used it late there. Press the wrong button. Oh, 
Come on. Oh, Sterix, thank you. I ignited him. I'm still alive, by the way. Oh my god. I don't die. I have a ward. There's nothing they could do to stop me. I could give them all 10 kills. I'm gonna run them over. Um, oh, is the new trolling them? It seemed like he's trying, but like, that's usually what happens when you play new new support and the game doesn't go well. You're gonna get reported because you kind of run it down if you don't pop off. Yeah, it's either Death Stance or Titanic Hydra. I think the Titanic Hydra is gonna give him more damage. I mean, it gives 500 health. I only get 10% bleed since I'm not melee, so this will be better. I have a feeling they're making it up. I don't think the doo doo's toxic. Oh, how great it would feel to shoot my past in the face. Oh, at least they didn't have uh yet. Oh yeah, I can't block that. I might die here. I'm a liver! I don't think I got my own off there. Come here. <laughs> my god. I am doing so much damage. Cleaver's at 3k almost. Oh, I almost hit my Titanic. If I sell this, I have it. Next fight will probably be it. Yeah, they don't have anybody that deals like a ton of damage in burst. Do I need to sell that thing? Yeah, I still did. This is giving 71 AD. 500 health, so I have 4k HP. Unfortunately, I think I do too much damage all multiple times because they're just too far behind. I want to just go in alone. If my team's around, we'll just wipe them. But they have a chance of killing me if I'm alone. Last person I know. An ally has been slain. Come here, you. Gone. MF might be able to catch him. Oh, that is cool. That didn't do any damage, though. Or maybe she was full HP. We got a runner. Oh my god, she died there. Okay, it was doing a lot of damage. Okay, they don't have a collie. I don't think they have enough damage to kill me. Oh, he has a cleaver. No, I didn't get the reset on his. How am I alive? They can't kill me. I'm gonna die to turret. Well, if I can get in and gore drinker before I get hit by anything, I can heal. Oh, I healed. Let's go. Oh, I got CC. Oh, that's a big punch. Oh! 
They don't do that much damage. Or Drinker, I have a healed 3k. That's actually pretty good. Alright, we got another fight in us. Let's see. It's all physical, so a death stance last would be nice. It doesn't give any health, though, so like... I mean, I can do the armor. What about tank items? What if I did a stone plate? I don't want to throw in a stone plate. I don't know if we'll make it there, though. It's a problem. I mean, death stance is even more expensive. I'm going to do a stone plate, just be tanky. Because, like, I pop the stone plate when the steric shield pops, and I'll have a, sh a shield bigger than my health bar. Legendary. Oh, I got the dragon. Hello, Riven. Hey, we found Nunu. He's being a camp. Well, at least my Q's always up with this haste. Oh, my ult's gonna time out. Oh, well, I blocked it there. I guess I have to do it at like the right time because sometimes it doesn't block and sometimes it do. Oh, no. oh she silenced him. I'm getting beat up. Oh, Gore Drinker, keep healing me. <laughs> Well, Ezreal's actually doing a lot of damage to me. I feel like I didn't have enough damage there to kill them, but I think it's because they were in the fountain. Oh, they all build healing reduction, too. That's kind of crazy, though. Even with healing reduction on me, I'm still out healing all that. But I had Soraka just spam healing me, too. Well, I need 900 for this. I don't know if we'll get it. But they, we funneled them a lot of gold, so maybe they can come back and fight us well. Ezreal is just hitting his power spike of three items. He needs, like, grudge, though, to do anything. Can't see. But there's a big wave top. We get some money there. But also there's kills mid. We get some kills. A fight ribbon. I think she's holding her stun. No. Oh, I got creep blocked by my own super. Oh, I almost had her. Okay, I'm gonna have my item, I think. Do I have enough? 2k. Oh, for a second I thought they got Baron, but that's us. Okay, stone plate. I'd like an extra 500 for a uh, tenacity potion, but this is fine. Steric shield's going to be 1,700, and then this is going to be 2,000. Okay. She taught me how to shoot. Your team has destroyed a turret. Going in. They have anti-shield? No. An enemy has been slain. The thing is, I have to take enough damage for my shield to pop. Your team has destroyed an enemy. I don't think that's going to happen, though. Hit me. Oh, it's gonna pop. You need to hit me more. 
I can ult again in a second. <laughs> oh no, that was so close. The shields almost kept me alive. If if I did a little bit more damage there, I would have killed them all in the base. How much on Cleaver? How would a Cleaver add? Wait, 8k? It really add that much? That's crazy. 1600 on Titanic. 4k healing on this. Not bad. Unfortunately, the enemy team skill gap was quite a bit lower than our team. But at least I got to just mess around and Ultima Bunch and fight. That's a fun part about Samira. Let's see the damage. 65k damage. How much did I take? Damage taken. I took the most damage. How much did I mitigate? I mitigated the most damage. Healing done. Healed 16k. That's actually pretty good because the only healing I have is Gore Drinker, Lifesteal, and Runes, and uh, the other thing. It's just those two, isn't it? Oh, Conqueror too. All right, yeah. Other than that, thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to like the video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Last but not least, leave a comment below. Let me know what builder champ you want to see next. Have a great day. Peace.